Well, happening now, a local business owner frustrated. His security camera captured a man trying to steal thousands of dollars of bike gear, but the cops let the bad guy go. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is live in Kearney Mesa with the reason why. Jared. Uh, Riel, there are plenty of big boy toys inside this store, but one guy didn't want to pay to play. And now, because of a legal technicality, it's the owner who's left holding the price tag. Fun Bike Center has millions of dollars worth of vehicles on the showroom floor and security cameras everywhere. We're going to know who is in our store almost at all times. So they noticed a guy wandering around Friday evening. So to see someone pick out a specific item and walk off without trying it on, knowing what size it is, kind of throws up a red flag. Employees say the guy was looking at gear for about 20 minutes inside the store. It's almost like he was trying to decide what he wanted to steal. Then he found this, a $1,000 bike helmet. He grabbed two of them and sprinted towards the front of the store. He didn't get far. Guy takes off through the dealership and runs into our biggest salesperson. They end up on the ground, a little bit of a scuffle. Security footage shows the man running, then getting tackled. The employee who grabbed him fractured his shoulder and cut his forehead. He had surgery Saturday. But when the police came, they let the bad guy go. They said there's nothing to charge him with. He didn't make it out of the store, therefore he didn't steal anything. Making things more frustrating, the officer's attitudes towards the store and the crime. Like the cop said, you have, you have a big dealership here. I'm sure you guys make plenty of money. What's $2,000 walking out the door? And that was kind of like, wow, that's really not what you guys are supposed to be here for. <laughs> the cops actually said that? Absolutely. And we reached out to police to ask if there are any other charges that the store could file, things like attempted burglary or assault, destruction of property. We haven't heard back from them yet today. Live in Curdy Mesa, Jared Ahrens, 10 News. Jared, thank you.